I'll show you how to make this medium size satin ribbon bow from scratch. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make a bow out of a medium width ribbon. This red ribbon is a basic satin ribbon that you can get from your local florist. You can also find it at craft stores from time to time. In the floral industry, this type of ribbon is called, the size anyway, the width is called number nine. And it's just a smidge wider than an inch and a quarter. I'm also going to have my wire cutters, and this time instead of a floral wire, which I normally use, I'm going to use a pipe cleaner. They're a little easier to handle with a big bow anyway, and scissors. So first you want to start off pulling off as much ribbon as you want. Red, of course, is a great color to have around for the holidays. This ribbon has a right side, the shiny side, and a wrong side, the underside. So we're going to start deciding how long we want the tail to be. It depends on your package and how long you want the tail to be on the package, or if you're going to attach it to a wreath and you want a longer tail. And you start with the wrong side up, and you're going to hold it in one hand and then twist it with the other hand. And hold the twist, in my case, in my left hand. I'm right-handed, but I hold my bow in the left hand. So now the right side, the shiny side, is on top, and I'm going to make my first loop. Then I twist it, grab it with my left hand again, and one of the fingers on my left hand, and make a second loop. The same size as the first loop. And I'm going to keep doing this, making loops, grabbing it, twisting. Make a loop, grab and twist. And if you're just new to this, I would suggest starting out practicing with the thinner ribbon, the number three ribbon that's about, oh, a little more than a half inch wide, and then gradually coming over to this wider ribbon, and start with a small number of loops. Start with six loops or eight loops, but I'm going to make a larger loop bow. Once you practice, you'll be able to do much bigger bows with wider ribbon and more expensive ribbon, which again I suggest that you buy inexpensive ribbon and practice, practice, practice until you get really good before you buy expensive ribbon. All right. So I'm going to get it to a certain point here. This is a lot of loops. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, so 16 loops. And I'm going to cut off, and now I'm going to take my pipe cleaner, and I'm going to put it inside and pull it through, pinch it with my right hand so it's really tight. Now I'm pulling it through with my left hand and pulling it out with my right. I'm going to twist it, and you notice I'm holding the wire with my right hand and twisting the bow with my left hand. That's so that the twist of the pipe cleaner, which is actually a wire, pulls into the bow and makes the bow very tight. Now, if I was going to attach this to a small wreath, and I say small because the pipe cleaners are not very long. They're not as long as a floral wire. But they're still fairly long. But if you were going to put it on a wreath that's small, and by small I mean thin, most wreaths are fairly thick. But a thin one you could do, and then you would actually take it in, actually you would use a green pipe cleaner if you're going to attach it to a wreath. And then you can use the wires of the pipe cleaner to attach it to something. But if you're going to put this on a gift, it's time to cut off the pipe cleaner, the extra piece. At this point, this is when I would attach this bow to my gift before fluffing the bow. So I would have my gift, it would be wrapped, it would have ribbon around it, and in the center or wherever I wanted to attach the bow, I would use a thinner ribbon piece attached to the gift ribbon, and I would pull that up and attach the bow by tying it on that way. So once that bow is tied on in the center, 
then it's time to fluff the bow, which I'll just show you here, which basically means that you separate the various loops and twist them around. As I said, it's a non-technical term in the industry. We call it fluffing. So when you're done and your, your bow is sitting on your package, it would look something like this. Then you can trim these tails shorter. So you can either cut them at an angle like that, or you can also fold the tail in half lengthwise and then use your scissors to cut at an angle and it makes a nice V. So that's how you make a bow. Whoops, sorry about that. That's how you make a bow that you keep fluffing till you like it out of a medium width ribbon for a package.